Hello, I'm Jim Morrison, head analyst for Echo Fox. We're here at the Echo Fox headquarters going over our new weekly segment, Coach's Corner, where we're going to break down the plays from this previous weekend's LCS matches. This week, we're going to be breaking down Johnny's Battlemere play. He was one of the few AD carriers this week that was playing the bruiser slash maid style that's become popular. So we're going to go in depth into how he did Saturday and Sunday and how he ended up being able to carry us out to, through a win on Sunday. So if we look here, we see Huni and Dardok have pushed the wave in and they're looking to start a dive onto the enemy team. Both teams are running super comps, so the match was a little different, a little weird, but we ended up having a really good opportunity here to really spring ourselves forward and get further ahead since we were kind of ahead at this point. So if you play the clip, you can see we've got Johnny and uh, Fang on their way up from the bot lane. Huni and Dardok pushing in towards the turret and they're getting ready to dive here. Huni initiates it with his stun and Dardok throws in his ult. Johnny comes in for a flank and he preps his E, he flashes in, but he hourglasses unfortunately. Had Johnny not hourglassed in this moment, he would have been able to throw down his ultimate and all three of these guys that are back here, there would have been a lot more pressure on them to be able to push so far forward and it would have been a lot easier for us to clean up this fight. So now if we play it through, we see that it ends up going pretty poorly now. The rest of our team has to back up. Everybody's kind of low because of this. We don't really have the same pressure that the Vladimir was supposed to bring to that fight due to the mistake and it really ends up hurting us and losing us the fight, which ultimately gives Optic the Baron here. Here we have a clip from our Sunday match against Golden Guardians, where we end up coming out victorious. At this point, Echo Fox is actually in a pretty rough situation. Fang has just been caught out by Golden Guardians. They now have full control of the Baron area and are looking to posture and take Baron. Camille's coming up behind us and our two guys, Altec and Phoenix, while they're looking to clear the midwave, they're actually putting themselves in a really bad spot because of the fact that they're now flanked by Camille. And if we play out the fight here, we see Phoenix ends up actually getting caught out through the enemy team collapsing on him. Camille throws the ultimate down and they force out his hourglass while Huni and Johnny try and zone them backwards. However, when they realize they're not going to be able to save Phoenix, Johnny immediately backs up, waiting for his third empowered Q. He charges up his E, he moves forward, gets a huge Hemo Plague on three people and comes back here with the empowered Q to clean up contracts and Lorlo pretty much single-handedly carrying this fight and ultimately getting us Baron and winning the game. This has been Coach's Corner. Thanks for tuning in, and make sure you tune in next week to see more big plays from our LCS players. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe Echo Fox on social media, and stay tuned for more League of Legends action.